older sister, but she had already gone off to school. I was in my teens. Now, it was unheard of to go out and buy a Christmas tree, so it was my job to climb one of the spruce trees, many spruce trees that grew around our place, and cut off the top five feet. Wow. <laughs> and that was our Christmas tree every year. Wow. That was fun. The kids were all small, very small. They called this part closer? of the land Suicide Hill. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they skied and played hockey and whatnot. And on Christmas Eve one day, yeah, that's better. That's Christmas better. Christmas Eve one day, one of David's friends, who would be about 10, lost his two front teeth playing hockey. And he cried all the way down Suicide Hill and took them to his mother, hoping his mother could replant them. <laughs> <laughs> One thing in Hesler, we had the big hockey tournament between Christmas and New Year's, 150 games, and the women made all the meals for all the people that came. And it was a wonderful event in the old arena. I'm a young at heart senior. <laughs> but I can remember every Christmas Eve, Dad would load us all in the car, and we would go up to the town hall in Hesler, and we would see Santa and receive our goodie bags. Yeah. It would have peanuts in it, an orange, some popcorn, and if we were lucky, a coloring. Mm. Don't be sick. Elma, I remember tobogganing on suicide. But you didn't lose your teeth. I can remember going to the arena and watching probably about 120 of those 150 hockey games. And Brenda, I can remember standing in line on Christmas Eve waiting for that bag and all those goodies and going home and thinking this was just the best thing in the whole world. <laughs> this is, is suicide for me too. It was 50 years ago on Christmas. It was between Christmas and New Year's that Jean Gammy, Bob Gammy's the doctor's wife and I, wanted to go skiing. So we got our skis out, and mine were a mess, but Harry cleaned them all up. He was so proud of them. And I put them on, and going down the hill the first time, I should have realized it was a crusty surface, and I shouldn't have gone. But I did, and the very first time down the hill, I fell and I broke two bones, the main bones in the right leg and the, <laughs> and the one in the left. I was in class for six months. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that is your memory of the best Christmas ever? <laughs> Our Christmases were spent in Germany, and Santa Claus comes to Germany for Christmas on Christmas Eve. We do not see our Christmas tree until Christmas Eve, and uh, they used to ring a bell, and then it was okay for us to go in and, and see the tree for the first time and then have our gifts. Thank you. Uh, when I was 11 years old, I got my first camera for Christmas. Of course, they were black and white cameras. They were called a brownie camera, but I don't know why. Because it was black. <laughs> until after you got it back from being developed. Well, all of my pictures were, all they were, were heads and ceilings. <laughs> and out of the 24, I only got two, and it still were all heads and ceilings. <laughs> I learned after that how to take pictures. <laughs> when I was a child, about five years old, I came to Sunday school at the Presbyterian Church, and we came in from three miles out in the country. And uh, then as I got a bit bigger, uh, seven or eight, why I always came to church with my grandma and grandpa. My grandpa was Cable Reeve, who was one of the first elders of St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church. So I always came uh, with them in the horse and buggy. And 
my grandma didn't get around too well, just like Laura helps me. <laughs> Why, I helped my grandma into church, and we walked right up the aisle to the very front seat in front of the Forbes and the Weavers. <laughs> <laughs> and then my grandpa would take the horse down around the back of the church and, and uh, tie it in the shed, and then he'd come in the back door and he'd come up the aisle, and he always had a squeaky shoe. Oh. <laughs> Something woke me up, and I thought, who was that? And I saw him sort of go by, but what I saw in, in the dark was this shining light. And I didn't know what it was. And in the morning, I found out it was a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> and beside him was a little blue, pink blue lunchbox for when I went to school. I always remembered that, no matter what. I kept that Rudolph for a long time. The only, the other thing I remember was the Sunday before Christmas, we always went out to the bush. We, on the hill behind us, my dad had wood rot, and we would go looking for a tree. And every year, different. I have uh, three brothers and a sister, and we all had two turns picking the tree. Mine was the best. <laughs> a lot of you know I was in the RCAF for 20 years during the 60s and 70s and we were stationed, the whole family, over in Germany. Well, in that, at that time it was West Germany. Uh, on Christmas Day, my kids all opened up skis for Christmas. So later in the afternoon, we loaded them all in the van and we headed up into the Schwarzwald, the Black Forest area. And there were some beautiful hills up there to ski down, and I've never seen my kids so happy. And that was a good memory. And I'm one of 13 children, and I was children. So um, growing up through that family, uh, the most ex uh, happiest memory I had was probably the month before, the Little Baptist Church would always put on their Christmas concert and we were always invited as to take part into that and the little goodie bag that came with it. When I was a little kid, we always went to my grandma's and grandpa's for Christmas and grandma always made Christmas puddings. She made a whole bunch of all different sizes. And uh, on Christmas Day, she would put, she would wrap coins and put them in the pudding. And, uh, then when we got the pudding, uh, they would pour brandy over it and light it on fire. And it would burn, the alcohol would burn off. And everybody would hope they got the piece with the best amount of money in it. My best Christmas memory is, wait, is when my aunt comes and wakes me up for Christmas morning. My best Christmas memory is when I go into my mom and dad's room and open all my presents and my talking. My best Christmas memory is when we eat dinner and talk. My Christmas memory is when we spend time with fam my family. My Christmas memory is on Boxing Day when we get together with our family and have fun. My favorite memory. My favorite part about Christmas is when I'm the first one up because everybody else is sleeping.